What's up guys? Hope you guys enjoyed that intro. Welcome to the video and welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm Karen. Hello. <laughs> And I am an aspiring powerlifter and I've been learning so much about my lifts. I have been lifting for quite a bit, but I've been really focusing on a strong squat and like really looking at my form and technique. And I just really want to share it with you guys. So before I even get into the video, please like, comment, and subscribe if you already aren't. And if you are subscribed, then hello again, my friends. I love you guys and I appreciate you guys so much. So squats before we even talk about the squat before we even get into the squat i want to talk about the squat rack and setting it up for you so when you are setting up your squat rack or whenever you're trying to find a squat rack you want to make sure that the height is for you one of the most important things you want to make sure about is the level of your bar where the bar is at a place where you are not tippy toeing it off or tippy toeing it back on and then after you find that perfect level for you, perfect height for you, you want to make sure that your spotting bar or safety bar, I do not know the technical term for them, but you want to make sure that that is at a good height for you as well. You want to make sure that you are not touching, you're not hitting it whenever you're at the bottom of your set. So before I even do anything, I like to set up my rack. I like to set it up because a good setup means a good squat. Strong setup means a good squat. Get your squat rack perfect for you guys. Okay guys, so we're gonna talk about placements for everything before you even like try to get into it. And one of the first things I wanna talk about are your feet. Because like some people like it shoulder width apart, right? So you have a shoulder width apart and you squat but it feels uncomfortable, it's bad on your knees, it's bad on whatever. Trying to find that position where your feet feel comfortable and where your body feels comfortable, your knees aren't struggling to do that rep. I would suggest trying shoulder width apart first, your toes pointed outward a little bit, and then squat. If it feels uncomfortable, adjust. Um, try going a little wider, try maybe closing up your feet. Everyone's different. There's not necessarily a right way. It's all on your comfort, it's all on your body because everyone's body's different, so everyone's perfect form will be different. Try to find that sweet spot first before you even get on the squat rack. And then after you find your feet placement, then you can go on the bar and find your placements for your hands and your back. First, I like to find the middle. I like to leave my hands where it's like, you know, space for me to go under and put it on my back. Um, this helps keeping, this helps to prevent a asymmetrical lift. It helps to keep from an unbalanced placement. You want the weight distribution to be even on your back. So if you're comparing this to your high bar squats, it will be maybe two inches, three inches under the placement of your high bar squat. Your high bar squat is usually on your trap, more so on your trap, but your low bar squat usually is more so on your delts. Make sure it's at a place where the bar isn't rolling off your back when you get it up, where it doesn't hurt you especially, and just find that sweet spot. <laughs> Once I find that spot on my back, that's when I adjust my hands. Some people like to hold the bar closer together, they like a closer grip, and then some people like wider grips. Um, that's all self-preference. Then let's talk about where you're looking at. So you do not want your head up, especially in the low bar squat because that's just an unnatural position for your spine and your back. So you want to keep your head down. You want to make sure that you're not hyperextending your back and that you're not curving your back. Do not look up. It's unnatural, bad for your back. Once you know all your sweet spots, once you know the placement that you're most comfortable in, that's when you're going to put it together and actually lift off. Your setup and your lift off should look a little bit like this. Well, for me, this is how it looks like, okay? so. Feet pla um, hand placement, go underneath. And that's when I'll find my placement next to me, find a sweet spot on my back, and keep my head down. So once all that is set, I'll take a breath and then lift off. Do my walk back, one, two steps, maybe three, whatever it is you need, and then set up my feet. And once everything is set up, that is when I will take that breath out. Once you're there, once you're at that good starting position, that's when you're gonna do your rep. Before you do every rep, guys, breathe in. Take a good breath in, tighten your core, make sure your tailbone's underneath a little bit to keep that back neutral when you squat. That's what you wanna make sure you do for every rep. And when you're going down on your squat, you wanna keep it controlled. You don't wanna just drop into a squat. Let's talk about where to stop at, your depth. You wanna at least hit 90 degrees. You want at least your quads to be um, straight and flat and parallel to the ground. Just make sure though you just at least hit that 90 or break it. If not, it's not really a squat. <laughs> You're not doing a full rep. 
and when you're down there you want to make sure that you are not on your toes you want to make sure your whole foot is on the floor and you just want to make sure that you're balanced and everything and that your feet are still on the ground some people lift off their um, heels that is not good make sure it's all flat so once you have all your depth once you once you know that you hit depth and that your position is good then you're gonna go back up and when you're doing that make sure you push with your feet make sure you're, when you're pushing it with your feet your feet are flat when you're pushing it back up that's when you're breathing out again and then you want to also make sure that your head is still down I see this a lot I think I used to do this too to where like once you're pushing up you're like looking up and trying to push up no <laughs> it's unnatural for your spine so you want to make sure that your head is still the same position as it was when you were setting up and when you were going down and that's one rep guys so that's how to squat so let's recap First things first, make sure your squat rack is good. Make sure you're not tippy toeing to get on or off. Make sure you're not touching the safety bars or spotting bars when you are squatting down. Find your sweet spots for your position of your feet, your hands, your back, your head. Make sure it's solid, guys. Strong lift off means a strong squat. That good lift off from the beginning will determine how well and how strong you feel for the rest of your squat. If you're gonna go in, if you're gonna do your set, make sure you go into it full on. Or if not, if you're questioning yourself, if you're doubting yourself, then you're setting yourself up for failure. So just keep going at it, guys. Make sure you're, breathe, you're breathing. Make sure every time before a rep, every time before a rep, you are breathing in, tightening your body, tightening your core. Um, that tightness and that control, it helps, guys. Your breathing helps you control everything and it helps to keep your body tight and strong. And that's pretty much it, guys. Those are the things that I really focus on and that helps you keep that strong squat. I'm hoping this helps you guys. Any questions, comments, concerns, let me know down below. I'd love to talk to you guys. Hope this helped you guys. Like the video if it did. Like it if you learned something. Um, and subscribe if you already aren't because I plan on posting more powerlifting things or fitness things. I also post Air Force things if you're interested in that. Um, take a look at my channel. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Virtual hug. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Peace.